Welcome back my fellow dino hunters. Here today we are going to show you Jurassic World Alive. Game just came out this morning. A lot of fun. Very similar to Pokemon Go. But it's got just enough stuff to make it stand out. Start with, here's the map. You see, you can actually see Pokemon. <laughs> what the Pokemon you can see is within what, your immediate scan range here. You can see dinosaurs. Let's see. How far is that one away? Right there at the top of the screen it's Very small trying to tap them There we go 345 346 meters Telling you to move closer now with the VIP experience you can actually increase the range of your drone That's just how you go and get these dinosaurs by 33% as current as just a free-to-play member you have a range of 180 meters so with that 33 percent that gets you up to 240 meters I still got a little get a little closer if I had VIP but not that big deal right now let's see do we have a rare dinosaur today okay if you see a rare dinosaur he'll have a pulsing blue color beneath his feet just Indicating that he's a rare dinosaur so that way you can see on the map that he's rare right before you even have to touch him All right, I'm gonna get a supply drop right quick before I catch his dinosaur Just like on uh, other games You go to the supply points you click on the supply drop and you can get coins You can get darts, which is what you use to catch more dinosaurs or you can get the in-game cash unlike other games to you can actually reduce the time on here by watching a little advertising video so you can basically farm a supply drop for a little while if you so choose I'm not gonna do that right now let's catch a dinosaur all right let me hit launch it's right next to me it's a lot of fun way this works is your drone shoots darts at the dinosaur to collect DNA. Now, your first shot should be a direct hit. It is not that hard. Score more direct hits. If you miss entirely, it gets deflected. Depending on where in that circle you hit, how much DNA you get. Oh, got a little too far away. There we go. Not bad. 44 points. You are, you do get a good, great, whatever score for how many, how much DNA you get on a single hunt, but not yet is there any special reward for your ratings. Maybe later they'll add that in. All right. Let's go ahead and unlock some dinosaurs as you can see down here at the bottom I have quite a few I need to unlock all right let's start with I don't remember all their names so I'm not gonna tell you the name before I pull it up Enoasaurus I'm sure someone's thinking right now you pronounced that wrong you down down here at the bottom Tells you a little bit about the dinosaur himself. And now we are going to create. First time you create a dinosaur, it doesn't cost you anything. You just hit the button, it creates them, you're good to go. Any excess DNA that you have on that dinosaur beyond what you need to create is lost upon creation. Oh, nope, that's not true. I'm sorry. I thought that it was since it didn't come up. Good. I was a little ticked off there for a second. Now you can see down at the bottom, a uh, possible hybrid. You can click on that to see what you need to hybridize this creature. You see your health, stats, etc. The uh, potential damage this beast can do in battle. More on that later. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple more yes I got me a Sukumimus yes I remember what this one was called let's 
you'll find on the map that common dinosaurs come and go pretty frequently and they are on the map for fair amounts of time a rare dinosaur if you see one oh for your sake you jump on him quick because he will disappear just as quickly as he appears I actually saw a Spinosaurus which was featured on 